there? Why are you all alone? Where are your friends? Did they leave you? No friends? Do you want me to help you build relationships and friendships? Well, the first thing you should do is small talk. <laughs> you don't know how? Well, the key to a successful small talk is learning how to connect with others, not just talk to them. Ask good questions. People love talking about themselves. So you can start your questions with, Tell me, or, What do you enjoy most about? Rather than just a plain yes or no question. Try it! What do you enjoy most about school? I love going to school. I love hanging out with my friends. Uh, you know, we have we do stuff together. We I help her with her homework. And I share food because I know she's always hungry. Oh and I carry her book. Hey girl, can you do my homework? Oh sure. Know a little about a lot of things. The best conversationalists tend to be great storytellers and are well versed in countless subjects. Talk about the news or whatever you've read in the magazines. Hey, have you heard the news about Marisa Soriano abusing her maid? Yeah, she's such a mean person. How dare you say that? She's a good person. Take that back. Maybe. Identify a bond or commonality you share with another person. You can ask people about their hobbies or interests. Hey, I see you holding a Justin Bieber poster. Are you fat? I like his songs. Fat? I'm more than just a fat. I'll be his future girlfriend after he talks to Nina Gomez. And his future wife too. Don't exclude spouses and partners. If you focus too much attention on work-related matters, you may unintentionally alienate any spouses and partners who are present. Did you do your homework in Sir Kenji's class? Yeah, it's really long on it. Really long. OMG, did you practice for your piece for the musical? No, I haven't yet. It's so hard. Like, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to do the Give a sincere compliment. Small talk may start with simple compliments. Hi! You have really pretty hair. Thanks! I like your songs. Now you have the skills and pointers. I also have to warn you about other people you'll meet who can ruin small talks or what you can do that would ruin small talks. One would be the braggart. This person would show off his status, money, or material possessions. Those who just love spreading gossip. I wonder why Brooke's absent today. I heard she's getting a you know, like those jobs and 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 those and photos. Good. And 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 life is option. When are you getting yours? The one upper. This person wants you to know that wherever you've been or whatever you've done. He was there first. Hey, you went to visit us, right? Bye, Bye. Yes! Yo, well, I was there since I was three years. I go there every year. I practice to go and the application of each ride, and I know what a lot of people do. I was there for that year. The hard hearted. This person says whatever's on her mind without any regard for others' feelings. Is that your score for a physics quiz? The pick your brainer bothers you and asks endless questions. This person is a taker, not a giver. Hey, you're not the guy. Can you teach me the lesson in algebra? Yeah. Can you teach me physics and understanding Yeah, sure. Can you teach me English? Oh, gotta go. The rambler. 
Someone who just wants to talk about his or herself. I'm so nervous about the quiz in history. I didn't sleep at all. Well, I'm not nervous. I read the book so many times last night. I even went to Google and searched its history, and I know every country's and its capital. And I also watched this, the Discovery Channel, the History Channel, the National Geographic Channel. Now you know all that, here's a list on ways to become a better listener. Number one, ask pertinent questions. Asking questions demonstrates sincere interest in the other person. Number two, practice empathic listening. Understand and sympathize always the feelings of the speaker. Number three, listen with your entire body. Stay focused on the other person. Number four, share personal stories. Be open as well if you expect that the other person to be open to you. Number five, paint a visual picture. Try visualizing the situation or event the speaker is describing or telling. Number six, don't interrupt. Always let them finish talking. Number seven, pause before you reply. Have that brief time to think before you start saying anything. Number eight, eliminate distractions. Like before, you must be focused. Don't let small things distract you from learning new things. Number nine, speak with a purpose. Make sure you have something important or profound to say as to not waste their time. Number 10, don't give unsolicited advice. Make sure to give an advice after hearing the whole story because others can get easily offended by what you say. Now that you've learned all that, are you ready to make friends and start new relationships? You're now the voiceover dude! What did I do? I followed your advice and nothing's working! Wait! I... 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 I'll just be on top there and meet other new people. Dang it! I knew I should have just taught her 10 ways to impress the opposite sex. Sigh. <sighs>